Hello G Nation, I'm your host G and we're gonna have a look at the brand new Molly Holly Pure and Wholesome. So before we get started, if you're not already a sub on my channel, make sure you do so, so you're kept informed when I post new content. Uh, click that notification bell that will give you those notifications and if you like the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. All right, so if we have a look, she's a showboat. We're gonna have a look at five star silver. Obviously not mine, was sent to me for preview purposes. I don't get to keep her. Coach ability at 9,000 is Silence Gem do 2,200 more damage. Uh, links are not shown yet. And she does have a gear that adds all color submission move do 250% more damage per turn. It is the Mighty Molly gear. We'll have a look at that gear after we're done without gear, because right now we don't have the gear uh in the inventory so the first move set we'll have a look at is going to be the falling power bomb it is a 10 mp yellow move finisher deals 136.3k damage choose seven multiply gems to destroy and pin the opponent the snap suplex 6 MP purple move deals 74.2k damage and choose a 3x1 area to make into snowfall gems which will modify all gems below it into it is multiply gems of strength 4 when broken by you and the elbow drop 6 MP purple move deals 71.2k damage and make 3 snowfall gems into yellow gems. Now one thing to note, there will be a move that is the Molly go round at some point. Uh, I don't know which one it's going to replace. It's going to replace one of those seven moves. I just don't know which one, but currently there's a bug with the animation. So they replaced it by another move. I just don't know which one. So eventually one of those moves is going to be renamed the Molly go round and have that animation instead. The trainers we're going to use for that uh, wood so that we start with more purple. We're going to use Zombie Nakamura so that our yellow move will destroy four more gems. In here is going to be four multiplied gems. And they're going to do 30% increase, which is going to be nice for the finisher. Uh, keep in mind, though, that if, if this was a feud instead, I would use... Uh, uh, not Akam, I would use Kofi uh, so that my Falling Power Bomb could be ready faster by increasing my yellow MP as well. But it's not feud, so right now we don't care. Uh, we're going to put also Rock so that our Multiply Strain is going to be increased by 1. And those Multiplies are going to do 5% extra. And I have Santa Ogan here for the extra 2200 gem damage for every color. And also uh, the 1 extra MP. A belt. Currently have the DX plate on it because really there's not that great plate that could fit because we're going to be making yellow and we need purples and like we don't want to replace the purple by blue because we want the purples to remain there so this one won't be of any use and uh, the other one which is this one it's when you break purple you get yellow but we're not going to be breaking purple gems other than with the uh mo with the destroy multipliers at which point we're gonna get more than enough anyway so plates not a big issue here i do have a metal that adds uh yellow damage the yellow move damage Right, so you want to pick three rows that have yellow and purple, so the mid rows are pretty good here. Now they will connect on two other yellows, so hopefully it's not going to end my turn. Actually, I'm not even going to risk it, I'm just going to put it here. It's not going to be optimal, but I don't want to risk my turn ending connecting with all those. We're going to play this fitness safe. All right. Now I get to choose 11 multiplies to destroy. I'm going to pick those three because then those are going to cascade together. Same with this. Obviously, you want to get that 
Uh, purple there. Green is my secondary color. And now I can pick pretty much whenever, whenever, whatever. And uh, we're almost gonna break all of them. I did 906,000 after gem. Well, actually, 1.19 million with the move damage after damage reduction. That turned out pretty good. We did have those two cascades that boosted our damage quite a bit. All right, now we're gonna try a variation of this. All right, second move set for Molly, which is a variation of what we just tried. We're basically gonna be replacing the finisher by the five star move, which is the Pendulum Backbreaker. It is a six MPL move, deal 86.7K damage, and choose a two by five area to swap into purple gems. Now, trainers for that, we're going to use the exact same thing, except we're replacing uh, Shinsuke by a Zombie Drew. Zombie Drew adds 2200 more damage to purple gems, and we're going to be making a lot of purple gem damage. Now, you could use also TUF set, Undisputed Future set. He adds 35% to purples. Uh, actually, at a five star gold, you would be better off to use set, but at five star silver and under, you're getting more damage out of Drew because adding set adds 2100 damage at 35% at five star silver, and Drew adds 100 more at 2200. But uh, at the five star gold, it's much more significant of an increase to go with the percentage over the flat damage. Uh, for this one though, we can use the, uh, the uh, not the boss, the time once again plate because this is when I break three or more purples, I get three yellows. So it's going to reload half my yellow move to do this and the other half we'll get from the purple move we'll be using on the second turn should we need it. So let's try this versus Bailey again. Okay, I'm gonna pick an area that has a bunch of uh, purples already. I'll give me my yellow. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get a purple in the middle. Perfect. And now I get to choose a two by five area. I'm gonna pick it here and it's gonna connect with those two and those two, actually even this one. That should give us quite a bit amount, quite a bit of damage for purples. There you go, well over a million, 1.13. And it cycled or moves. And if she would be kicking out, we would get the extra three yellow we need to get that. Uh, yellow move going again next turn thanks to that plate we got This works out pretty good as well Probably even less prone to uh, Low cuz the other we got pretty much the same amount of damage as the first move set did But this one doesn't really care what the mood what the gems are you just convert all of them into purples the previous one we got that amount of damage although we did have two cascades, so I'm guessing this one is probably more consistent than the first one. All right, now let's look at something completely different. All right, next move set is a move set that's pretty much meant to just piss off your opponents. It's gonna be a double submission move set. It's gonna be the body lock rear naked choke. 8 MP uh, green move, color submission, choose 9 gems to make into yellow gem, a uh, yellow submission gems, and do 61.2k damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into protect gem of strength 18.6k. The reversal, 5 MP green move, kick out, deal 114k damage and gain 342,000 health. And a twin city twister. 
8 MP yellow move color submission, choose 7 gems to make into green sub gems and do 61.2k damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into multiplied gems of strength 4. So we're going to be submitting them to L. Now keep in mind we don't have the gear right now. The gear adds 250% uh, submission damage so this is probably a lot more damage dealing if you do have the gear which we'll try later on in this same video the trainers for that we're gonna go with steel so we start with the green you could start with yellow instead reason I went with green is so that the reversal is ready right off the bat as well uh, we're gonna boost the submission with Bray here by three turn the green one again you could use on BAJ and boost the yellow one instead that would work too and we got both Drew and Bruno, which respectively add 50% uh, damage to submission and one extra turn. Uh, Bruno to the green and uh, Drew to the yellow. Let's try that. Okay, so we're gonna put nine gems and keep in mind we're turning them into yellow i do have one match here that i'm doing on purpose Failed my yellow move. And not many survived, only two did. Now that she had a lucky cascade, I can use my kick out move. Now I have my yellow move ready. I'm gonna match to green so that my submission is gonna be ready on the next turn. And now I'm just gonna put some others on the board. Trying not to replace yellows. Also don't wanna, I do have a lot of greens though, so that's gonna be tricky. Something like that. Yeah, that didn't turn out too good. We can get rid of those two right away. But it still gave me what I needed and took out all our MP anyway. I can do it again. Now my yellow is already ready, so... I could have put, uh, I didn't switch plates, I could have put the, uh, what's the name of that plate? I'm drawing a blank, the one that that increase your gem damage when you do six sub gems. I forgot the name, but that's the one I would use for that. I don't need to match any. No, I'm gonna lose a bunch. And she's out. It's not a fast match, but it's effective. I, and I'm sure it's gonna be a hell of a lot faster with the gear. All right, let's look at something else. All right, last move set we'll have a look at without the gear. Uh, it's going to be a small variation of what we just saw. Uh, before we get started, the All Art Plate is what I was looking for. I was drawing a blank for the name, but this is what I was looking for. When you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green gem damage by 100% for two turns. When you generate three or more submission gems, increase your purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. So those are uh, the boosts on it. Not a big deal, but every little bit helps. So this is going to be just a variation of the previous one. We're basically replacing the reversal 
with the uh, finisher, the Falling Power Bomb, 10 MP Elmo finisher, deal 136.3k damage, and choose seven multiply gems to destroy and pin the opponent. And this is for the yellow submission that is gonna put some multipliers on the board. Hopefully get those to destroy after it. Not entirely convinced this is gonna be worth it that much, but I wanna try it. We're gonna be using the exact same trainers. Uh, the reason we're going for the green first is because the green is going to let us pick yellows so that we can load those. Because the finisher costs 10, which we're not going to have regardless on the first turn anyway, or the second really, because the submission won't let us do a gem swap or anything. So if we go with the green first, it's going to give us all we need uh, to do that uh, finisher which would be on the third turn though because on the second we're going to need to use the multiply move so we'll see how that goes and if we even need to reach there and after that we'll try the same two move sets but with the gears instead Let's load our yellow. That'll do it. Three remained. There was a lot of yellow on the board. Pretty much everywhere I was placing a gem was going to be a yellow match. Two remained. <laughs> Do any green match because I was already good on that. We have four that remain, and their damage is increased. They're going to do 61k each. So we're going to use the finisher and we're going to pick those. And that's it. Not entirely sure that's really worth it. Uh, if you ask me, I probably would have gone with the reversal over this. The reason for that is the reversal gives you an out should you get screwed by a cascade. And I would have finished it with the submission anyway. Because the submission would have done pretty much the same amount of damage. So Let's try those with the gear now though. All right, we're gonna do the exact same setup we just tried, except this time we got the Mighty Molly gear. Now, to remind you, this gear makes it so that all color submission move do 250% more damage. Now, this again is gonna be with the finisher and boat submission, and we're gonna keep the exact same trainers as well. So you see normally right now we're doing 91.8K with trainers. Let's see how much we're going to do. Obviously, it's not 250% of 91k. It's going to be like 250% of 61k. So it's probably going to be around like 160, actually a little more with trainers. Two hundred forty-four. so a lot more, not just a little more. Now we're going to pick yellows. The 
this will fill our yellow moves. I'm not even sure we'll reach a finisher. Oh fuck. That did so much damage, that's all, uh, one submission and we're done. Oh, little problem with the animation there. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're going to look at the other moveset, but uh, probably going to see only one move. Alright, now we're going to try that third moveset. I don't know if we're going to get to try it, really. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with versus a different opponent. So this is the one that had twice the sub and the reversal uh, using the same trainers yet again. Uh, this time we're going to go versus all of Fame Alita. Uh, being a Hall of Fame, she should have a little more HP. Uh, too bad there's not a Hall of Fame showboat, that would have been great. Uh, she has class advantage over me. We'll see if that's enough HP to last my submission. Okay. Again, we're gonna load that yellow move. And let's put some more gems on the board. You know, submission does a lot, so... Even that is not enough to go through a second move. Obviously at 5 star gold that'd be a different story. There would be enough HP. <laughs> you gotta fix that. There would be enough HP for them to kick out of it. But you can pretty much do a submission every single turn. And they will never get a move off. Unless you're facing someone that has like 1 MP moves. Or that get an extra turn by matching 5. They're never gonna get a move off. So... This is pretty damn strong. So yeah, that's pretty much my preview for uh, Molly Holly. Uh, very versatile player. Uh, I'd say without the gear, I wouldn't put her top tier. Still pretty strong, very versatile and everything, but a little snow and doesn't hit that hard. With the gear though, it's a different story. No, not only are they gonna be annoyed to face you, but uh, you can pretty much go through anyone really. So uh, yeah, that's it for Molly. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. G out. Ciao.